Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. This is going to be my best crossbody bags under $1,500. I have 10 handbags here for you. I'm super excited to go through this because right now in 2022 when I'm recording this, there have been so many price increases in all the designer brands like Saint Laurent, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, you name it. And I do have a couple contemporary brands in this mix. So I actually have 11 bags. There is one bonus bag that is just above the $1,500 mark and it's due to a recent price increase unfortunately. But I have 11 bags to show you that I think are really great contenders if you are looking for a crossbody bag. I think all of these I would highly recommend and they're all going to really stand the test of time just based on the simplicity of them, the versatility, and the convenience of them. So before I get into the video, I do want to introduce myself if you're new here. Welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Alyssa and I love all things handbags. So if you love handbags, you are definitely in the right place. I would love if you would consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful for you and all of the support that you've given me. Thank you so much as always. So that being said, let's get into the video. So the first handbag I'm going to show you, I'm going to start with Gucci. The first handbag under $1,500 is my Gucci Mini Ophidia bucket bag. And I have had this bag for about a year now. I did buy this on the pre-loved market and I bought this from the real real I bought this for under eleven hundred dollars I actually had a lot of store credit so I really got a steal on this bag but on the website currently I believe this retails for twelve hundred or thirteen hundred dollars I'm gonna leave all of the prices in the description box next to the links on where you can buy these directly from the fashion house but so what I love about this bag is it's so convenient it's so easy it's so versatile I've talked about this bag a ton on my channel but what I love about it is that it's so casual and flexible and just easy to kind of throw your stuff in here and go it's definitely a good size mini bag I would say this really packs a punch and what I love about it is it has that really beautiful vintage Gucci heritage look to it so I love this this bag I will always recommend this bag this is definitely a 9 out of 10 bag in my opinion the only reason I give it a 9 out of 10 is simply because the interior is suede and I will show you I do have an insert in here I have my bags stuffed right now but this suede interior definitely gets dirty really easily so you definitely want to make sure you have something in there covering it to make sure that it's not getting scuff marks or pen marks or lipstick or anything like that and another thing about this bag is the reason I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 is just simply because of the functionality with it being a bucket bag. It's not super secure, so your stuff will fall out of the top. However, that is the nature of a bucket bag, so most bucket bags don't totally close at the top, so it's really not its fault of the actual design of the bag. It's just what it is. So. I do recommend this bag if you're looking for a mini bucket bag. This would definitely be the one that I would recommend the most. The second bag from Gucci that I'm recommending is my Gucci Soho Disco. This was my first designer bag that I bought directly from the Gucci store. I had never went into a luxury store and bought something. And I had bought this for $1,100 at the time. I believe it retails for $1,300 now. And the quality of this bag is just beautiful. I believe it's been six years since I've had it. It does not have a mark on it. The shape of the bag, since I've been keeping it stuffed, has not sunken in, which is really nice. I'll show you. I just keep it stuffed with the dust bag and like one of those little air pouches that you would get on Amazon. And I absolutely love this bag. This is one of my favorite bags of all time. I love the Gucci Soho Disco and I love this really beautiful tan color. It goes with everything. This is like the perfect travel bag for me. It's a perfect everyday bag. This bag is absolutely a 10 out of 10. If you are a collector and you don't have this in your collection, you absolutely should. It comes in black. It also comes in red and this beautiful color too. So highly recommend this. I love, 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 love this bag. 
The next bag from Gucci is this Gucci mini padlock bag and this is in the cream leather with the canvas GG's and it also has the orange leather detail on the top handle and the crossbody strap. Also, all three of these bags that I've just talked about from Gucci, they do have adjustable crossbody straps. I think almost all of these bags that I'm talking about have adjustable crossbody straps, which is super important for me because I am pretty short. So I'm five foot two and I like to wear my bags a little bit higher up. I don't like them super long on my hip. So if they're adjustable, that's great for me. I believe all of these strap drops are around 21 and a half at the longest length. And that's pretty typical for Gucci. So I just wanted to throw that out there if you are interested in that but so with this I love that this is a canvas bag but it has the gorgeous gold detail and to open it you just push it and then these little prongs here like pop out and then the inside is also that suede material similar to the Gucci bucket bag it has that same material sorry I have a toothpick in here but you can tell it's actually getting a little bit dirty in here which is unfortunate but there isn't an insert for the size of the bag and I fear that if you were to put an insert in this bag you would lose some of the space because it is a very mini bag but it does pack a punch like this is bigger than the Gucci super mini bags however it, it's still very tiny and small like just for reference like this is what it looks like up against the body like it's very very tiny you cannot fit your wrist through here however I believe this bag retails for $1,200 right now on Gucci's website and I have gotten so much use out of this so far this is like my perfect spring summer bag I have taken this everywhere with me so far I've worn it casually I've worn it dressy I have worn this in so many different ways and I love the pop of orange on here I just think the color it's like a beautiful tangerine color is absolutely stunning I highly recommend getting canvas bags from Gucci because they are really really durable weather resistant and just overall super functional so for me, this bag would be an 8 out of 10 simply because of the interior. And also I've talked about this before in one of my previous videos. So I actually have full reviews on all of these videos. So check out my channel if you haven't already. But so with this, this strap, you can remove it. However, if you are trying to like put it away and lay it, it kind of gets bent because you're like awkwardly trying to fit it like around I don't know it's kind of difficult to work with as far as storing this bag you kind of have to take the strap off to put it in the bag because it's just not very flexible and then it like kind of creases I know it's not the worst thing in the world but just from a standpoint of you want to like maintain the wear of the bag that's just something to keep in mind. The next two bags that I'm gonna talk about are from Versace. And the first one is this mini camera bag. This is in the round shape, obviously, in the black and gold. This bag is definitely probably my most used bag. I would say because it is black and gold, I get a lot of use out of this. I wear black constantly and it does have the adjustable crossbody strap, which I love. And I will show you the inside. I do have it stuffed, but it's just basically one internal pocket. Like there's really nothing going on in there. I've talked about this bag so much that I don't want to over talk about it, but it's absolutely amazing. I love the quality of the leather, which is why I got this bag, which is the next bag I'm going to talk about, which is the mini hobo bag in the pink with the Medusa head that it's all monochromatic. And then it has the adjustable crossbody, but this one can also be turned into a shoulder bag, which is super nice. And then it has this like magnetic closure here this flap and then I do have it stuffed but I'll take the stuffing out for this one just to show you this is what it looks like on the inside and I mean this one's pretty small I would say they both are small bags but they both fit a lot and what's great about them is the leather is really high quality and they're both very lightweight like you don't feel like you're carrying anything at all when you wear these and they just work really well on the body I would say the shapes of these are unique but still classic so this round one looks really really great with anything that you pair it with this hobo one I would say is a little bit more difficult to style for me just because it is pink but I feel like this hobo shape gives it a little bit more of a casual kind of look whereas this one you can really dress up 
dress down, do whatever you want. So I love both of these bags. This one I believe is more expensive. This one is $14.50. This one I think is $1,100, but I will double check that. So if I was going to choose between the two, I would definitely go with this one just simply because it's very, very wearable. However, you have the added advantage of wearing this one as a shoulder bag. So that's what makes it a great kind of travel bag because you almost get two bags out of one. But they're both really, really wonderful options to have a luxury bag that's under $1,500 and that's a really, really good quality. The next bag I'm going to show you is my Mulberry Mini Darley handbag and I got this for Christmas. It has this really beautiful gold chain and then it has a zippered back pocket. The front you can twist it open and it opens up with a front pocket here and it does say mulberry and then when you unstuff the bag you have kind of a wallet style in the back with a zip pocket in front and then this nice big catch-all pouch. I absolutely love this bag. This is very similar to my Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici. I do have a video on this bag and that bag and I love this because it's a perfect everyday bag when you just don't need to carry much and you're just very very minimal but it's also a wonderful dinner bag or date night bag. I love love the quality of this chain, this gold chain is really, really luxurious and it's not too long. The, sh the strap is not adjustable, but it is a good length for me. I am five foot two. Just to show you, I know I haven't showed mod shots, but I do have full videos with mod shots of all these bags. This is what this bag looks like on me. It does hit me right at my hip, so it's a really good length if you are short. The next bag that I have to share with you is one of my favorites. This one is my off-white Jitney bag, and I love this bag so much. Even though it is Safiano leather, which I usually don't like, I love the uniqueness of this bag, but I love the classic shape with the top handle bit, with the top handle feature, and then you do have an adjustable strap. So this strap is kind of the same as the Gucci mini padlock bag in the fact that if you can see, it's like really misshapen because of the way that I've been storing it which isn't a huge deal but it's just something to keep in mind. To open this bag you just twist this and then you pop it open and the inside oh here's my Dior lipstick I just found that and on the inside of this bag I have the tag still and it has red leather in there and I would say one of the biggest perks about this bag is how much it fits and how unique it looks. Like, I love the drip of the arrow here. I absolutely love that. I think it's super unique. And I think off-white bags are very understated. I think the quality is excellent but on top of that a lot of people don't really know the brand and it's not super monogrammed or anything like that so if you're looking for a bag that is understated but is really really functional versatile and flexible you should absolutely check out off-white i love the brand i would like to get more from the brand as well and the back has this little mini pocket but i don't really put anything in there i just think this particular bag is very functional and works for a lot of different occasions i've worn this dress I've worn it casual. This is really a great everyday bag in the summer also and what's great is I do wear it with jeans and it has absolutely no color transfer at all. So highly recommend this bag. I got this on Saks website and I believe it retails for $1,400. The last luxury bag that I'm going to talk about is the bonus bag and it is from Saint Laurent. So this is my Saint Laurent camera bag in the gray and brass gold hardware. It is just one big catch-all camera bag. It does have an adjustable crossbody strap and it is not removable. This is one of my favorite casual everyday bags. I do love this bag because of how much it fits and how easy it is, how casual it is. I don't know if as the price of this bag continues to go up, if it's going to be worth buying it brand new. I, I did buy this brand new from Bergdorf Goodman and I feel like in the future if I were to get another one I would buy a pre-loved just simply because of the price increases. However, this is a beautiful bag. It is really nice quality. However, in the beginning when I got it, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to hold up. I do think it has for the amount that I've used it and the only thing about it is it does have this kind of like arch here um, that like doesn't really stay down like it just kind of 
very moldable leather if that makes sense i do love this bag this is definitely like a nine out of ten bag in my opinion i realize i forgot to rate the rest of the bags but they're all like a nine or a ten out of ten i would say considering that i'm recommending these as the best crossbody bags under fifteen hundred dollars but this one now retails for $15.50 at the time that I am recording this video, so I do think it would be worth that. I do think you should buy it if you are interested in this bag. It's a great camera bag and crossbody bag for everyday use, and they have a lot of variations as well. But the last three bags are from Contemporary Brands. This one being my beloved Palen Numero Un in the Nano size. This bag has really become one of my favorites. The leather is absolutely beautiful. The quality is very similar to YSL or Gucci. And it has this really great adjustable crossbody strap. The top handle feature is absolutely stunning. I love the shape of it because it just looks so luxurious and so like easy to carry. And it's so cute on the body, but really fits a ton. So I'll show you the inside. I have a hand sanitizer in here right now, but it is a cloth interior, but it really stretches to fit whatever you could possibly need in here. And I love it because it, it really fits all my essentials. This is the color sand and it's just the most perfect nude bag. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 bag in my opinion. The next bag I'm going to talk about I'm actually using today. So it is stuffed. This is my Marc Jacobs Traveler Tote in the size mini. This is in the beautiful pebbled leather and it's in the nude color with the cream writing. I am putting this in the best crossbody bags because of the size. It literally fits so much. Like I have so much stuff in here right now and could fit loads more. It's a really great summer bag to just grab and go. I love the top handle feature with the crossbody. The size of this bag fits really well. It doesn't look overly bulky as a crossbody, which I appreciate. The back says Marc Jacobs. I just think the overall quality of the leather is very close to high-end luxury. And so if you haven't gotten this bag, you absolutely should. The interior of this bag has suede in the back, but everywhere else it's like this coated leather that's really easy to clean, which I think is great. But overall, it's just one of the cutest bags in my collection. Super functional, super versatile, definitely casual. I would not say that this is like a dinner bag, but I believe this retails for $375 and is absolutely worth that price point. Last but not least, one of the best bags that are under $1,500, this one is from Coach. This pick from Coach is the Alley 18, which is the smaller size. And what I love about it is it really levels up to like a Dior Montaigne bag, a Celine box bag. It has that kind of look to it. Without that price point, I'm not saying the quality is anywhere near either of those, but if you're looking for that look, this is very, very simple. I love the heritage like horse and buggy here. It has a little dog tag here. I love the two-tone tan with the cream. It has a lot of room to work with. You can really get a lot in there. It has this front pocket also. This is just a really easy bag to grab and go for dinner, for everyday use. Whatever you wanna do with it, it's really simplistic, very affordable, and I just think it is one of those bags that, that will stand the test of time because it's not overly monogrammed and you almost don't even know that it's coach, which I really like. And I like the simplicity of it. So I would definitely recommend this crossbody if you haven't checked it out. If you're someone who is into contemporary brands and isn't looking to spend, you know, luxury price, I think this is a really great option for you. So that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here with me. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.